We present our paper, Manipulation for Self-Identification and Self-Identification for Better Manipulation, authored by Kai Yu Hong, Walter Bircher, Andrew Morgan, and Aaron Dollar. In-hand manipulation is an important skill for a robot, as it allows the robot to interact with and change the state of its physical world on its fingertips. Numerous robotic hands have been developed in recent decades, but can topologically be very different, and even have different types of sensing capabilities. The hands depicted here are just a few examples, and as we can see, these variants have three, four, and five fingers. It is our goal in this work to address the development of generalizable manipulation models for planning and control, without relying on specific sensors or prior knowledge of the system. To do so, we rely on coordinated finger object actions and probabilistic reasoning to build a model that is effectively representative of the hand object system. We instantiate this process on a Yale Open Hand Model O, a fully open source robotic hand without tactile sensors or joint encoders. The overarching goal in robotics is to develop systems that are able to operate naturally in human-made unstructured environments. In some scenarios, it is possible to know environmental or system models beforehand, or estimate them during execution. But in some cases, undesired system conditions may warrant damage to the robot, for example breaking a finger. By replacing the finger with a spare part that may not be identical, the system model of the robot is therefore changed and the robot must be self-identifiable as to update its internal model. Thus, we propose in this work a self-identification framework that is not only able to generalize to different manipulators, but can also adapt and update its own internal model. We propose the concept of virtual linkage-based representations, an abstract representation of virtual linkages and virtual joints that can describe the motion of a specific point on the object, which we call the point of manipulation. Without modeling particular geometries of the hand or the object, different virtual linkage representations, or VLRs, represent varied motions when actuated. Particularly, VLRs estimate the contact locations of the system and are acquired via coordinated finger movements and probabilistic reasoning. Our self-identification framework is built on top of the concept of particle filtering. Fundamentally, we begin by building hypotheses of the VLR configuration. Here, these hypotheses are illustrated by magenta virtual linkages and blue virtual joints. Moreover, the yellow spheres represent the current estimated contact locations on the object. During manipulation, we track the POM through an in-hand camera and a marker attached to the object. As manipulation of the object occurs, the hypotheses are tested and refined by comparing the predicted movement with the actual movement of the POM. This process continues by both refining and resampling until convergence occurs. It is important to note that we never reach full convergence, and this is advantageous as it enables parameters such as virtual distal link lengths to be updated during manipulation as rolling or sliding occurs. We illustrate VLR convergence with additional objects. Here, we present four objects included within the Yale CMU Berkeley object and model set. Namely, we manipulate the wine glass, gelatin box, screwdriver, and Lego until VLR convergence. We present the task of handwriting, a function that requires coordination and precision to effectively execute. The process begins by estimating the VLR of the system. Once the VLR is converged, we perform the task of writing the letter O with the POM as viewed by the in-hand camera. Similarly, we are able to trace the letters S-C-I-E-N-C-E -E -E to spell the word science with the POM. With an accurate VLR, we are able to control more than just the position of the POM. Here, we illustrate the utility of this framework by solving a maze game, controlling just the rotation of the object. We demonstrate the utility of in-hand manipulation with a cup stacking task. Here, we first see that small perturbations of grasp location accuracy can often result in task failure. It is noted that the first cup is not inserted properly. Conversely, we can utilize in-hand manipulation after generating the virtual linkage base representation of the hand simply by aligning the central axis of the cup with the base cup.
We finally demonstrate the utility of our framework by generating VLRs for novel hands, as to follow the thesis of the original image we presented. Now, we simulate such an occurrence by developing three novel fingers that will be attached sequentially, fundamentally creating three novel hands. After replacing each of the fingers, we are able to successfully converge on a VLR for each novel hand. Overall, we believe that through the process of building virtual linkage-based representations, we will be able to better extend the capabilities of robot end effectors.